Libra, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we are gonna pull some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or a specific somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are gonna be pulling a final message from your beautiful angels. Now, let us begin, and we're gonna start with your affirmation for the day, because this is something that you're gonna to want to remember and allow it to guide you. So, write this down in the comments below. My impulses guide me. My impulses guide me. Write this down so it sticks, because that's the key. We could hear things all day, all night, but if we're not connecting to it, then it comes in one ear and usually kind of gets stuck in the subconscious and we kind of forget. So my impulses guide me. Write this down. Let universe know that you're listening because your impulses, beautiful soul, never forget, is literally the universe communicating with you. So your higher self, your spirit guides, they're guiding you towards a time of great prosperity and a, a time of, oh, the King of Pentacles has that feeling of satisfaction. Like this, this lovely spirit right here, sitting on that throne with all his riches, all his experience, or their experience, their riches, right? Look at this beautiful dog he's, they've got with them, right? At the end of the day, no matter what, if you want something, it's, you're, it's coming to you. You ask for something and it is given here. It's not like some are luckier than the others. It's that we are all, we all have a certain uh, desire point, set point. And whenever we have energy blockages, that are creating this oh, frustration and uh, you know we're not energetically feeling really good. So we could feel let down, we could feel disappointed, we could feel overwhelmed. Uh, and we end up feeling really frustrated, let's just say, and we see that with the Three of Wands, frustrated with the manifestations that have come forth. We just wanna remind you that in this energy, now is the time more than ever to really be appreciative and practice forgiveness, gratitude and grace. This will detach you from any emotional attachment you have may accumulated. And we see here that it may have something to do with your financial situation. And we just wanna let you know, right? Anything, anything, anything that you look at with an emotion of hate or anger or resentment or, or, or betrayal or sadness, anything at all, what you end up doing is pushing that energy away. You end up attracting in the exact result you're not looking for, right? So if you're in a state of scarcity, right, maybe with finances, we want to remind you that if you hate your finances and you openly speak about it in your, in your mind and in your energy body, I hate where I am. I hate how much I'm making. I want to make more. I'm not making enough. Right, if you're, if you're hard on yourself, if you're serious, if you're serious with anything in life, what you end up doing is pushing it away. Why can't I have this? I just don't want this. Anytime you think about anything that you don't want with the thing that you actually do want, you end up pushing that away. Just remember that. So it's always, always about appreciating and releasing that energy with forgiveness, right? Having that more gentle approach and you'll notice how much more calm you will feel when you uh, practice appreciation and that forgiveness. Now, forgiveness can be on all fronts. Maybe it's with somebody. Maybe it's, you know, with yourself. It's a big one, right? A lot of the times as empaths, we hold on. And again, right, when we talk about things in a low way, it's almost like we're kind of blaming ourselves. Like, why am I not better? Why haven't I done, for, done more for my life? I see all these people thriving and I'm over here just like a lump on the log, you know what I mean? Like we sometimes get into these ruts where we feel this low frequency and it's just not the case. It's just not the case whatsoever. As a matter of fact, the minute that uh, you start to practice appreciation and forgiveness with yourself, you'll start to realize that that ease is gonna start to flow through your body. You're gonna feel that sense of relief and disconnection. And when that happens, that's when you're able to think clearly and feel clearly about what it is that you're being guided towards. Again, my impulses guide me, right? Remember, you are a co-creator. 
Meaning that when you practice appreciation and forgiveness with yourself and those around you, you bring that gentle touch to your life so you can start to ease up. Because again, bringing a gentle touch means having ease within your vibration, right? Where nothing's a big deal. Because that's when you can tune into those impulses. That's when you can tune into where that joyful energy feels. But if we're like so stuck, again, I, I, I mentioned this last reading, right? Espresso and me have always had this love-hate relationship, but I actually love it, right? So imagine it's like money or imagine it's somebody that you really care about, right? All this, if it's something that we feel isn't, we love it, but it's not, it's not benefiting us, then we have this love-hate relationship with it. But deep down, we love it. We want it to be really, really good, right? So deep down, we have this love-hate relationship. We create it with money. We create it with people that we love in our lives or people that we want to have in our lives of like, you know, we put up this front, like, like, you know, we are almost upset with it, but at the end of the day, love it, appreciate it because then it will come to you. It will come to you. So love and appreciate the money that you see, love and appreciate money in general. Start to uh, work with the energy of what, what money will bring for you, right? What money will, will, will not, and not necessarily like money will bring happiness, but it, it will bring a relief, right? Because that's one thing that's always a distraction in a lot of our minds is money, but money is just a frequency that we have to align with. And that frequency is is joy. So we can see here as of recently on your journey, you've gone through some very difficult decisions and this has ca caused and brought on a lot of turmoil within your heart. Now that uh, because you've gone through this difficult cho decisions and it's been very painful for you, your heart chakra has closed down, says that hermit in reverse, leaving you feeling really lost, beautiful soul. And us empaths, when we have this hermit in reverse, it's the insinuation that we are disconnected from our home. And when we are not connected to home, oh boy, Oh boy, the perspective over here on planet Earth is very difficult, very challenging, very dense, very hard for us to really move forward with because we really feel alone. We really feel like the world is crashing in around us. You know, it'd be so much easier to just go back home. We kind of have these feelings, right? Of just, you know what? I don't know what I signed up for. Maybe I was fooling myself, right? And, and, you know, it comes, those moments come, but it's not the fall, beautiful soul. Always remember that. It's always the comeback. And the most challenging times that we go through are implemented on purpose to really allow us to be introduced to who we really are, to who we really are. Because through the moments of adversity, you will gain clarity upon what it is that you know you need to either walk away from. Maybe it's a business, maybe it's a job, maybe it's pleasing others. Maybe it's, it's you're, you're just done. You're like, I'm done. Why am I not making myself happy? Why am I trying to make everyone else happy? Why am I not focusing on me, on my journey, right? So no matter what, there's always this, uh, kind of after the fall, there's this moment of rise, rise up, right? And this is coming forward for you. And again, we just want to remind you, right? Who you really are. And that is a prosperous, abundant being. So if you are not experiencing that in your current reality right now, then you have got to get your focus out of what you're seeing, which we recommend anyway, and you've got to get yourself self focusing on where your, where your life is going and start to immerse yourself in the culture of where you're going. So perhaps do some reading, maybe watch some YouTube videos. When I was up and coming, I was watching uh, what um, millionaires, uh, uh, millionaire morning routines. I also watched, um, you know, how to, uh, how to have confident body language, you know, things that I wanted to improve in my life that I, 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 I always wanted to learn that stuff. I was learning about angels, meditations, what it is to truly connect, um, my own energy, working with my own energy. That was a big one because I realized, Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Just wait, hold the phone. So if, if true, if true abundance is just a frequency and I just need to feel joy and love, which is our natural state, by the way, then I just got to really connect to those things in life, those impulses that guide me. So we ask you now, Libra, where is it that your heart is truly guiding you, truly guiding you? Not the distractions, not the things that you have been thinking about, the, 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 the spouses, the lovers, the, you know, the, the, the this and the that. What is it that you truly, in your heart of hearts, if you could just cut the crap, cut the, cut the fat, right? Cut straight down to the, 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 the main course here. 
What is it in your heart that you know, if you put your focus into, you would feel that sense of satisfaction. That's where your intention is meant to go. And from that being your main intention, every other choice in your life will come to to fruition. It will just make sense for you because it will align. Aligning means it will feel the same. So when you align with that feeling of satisfaction, everything else in your life you choose to do should also feel that same way. And if it doesn't, that's when you know you've got to you know, get, get, you know, give it the boot. You know, you got to walk lovingly away from it saying no longer is, is, is this serving a purpose for me? And it's all gravy baby because I'm going this way. And so thank you, but I'm out, you know, kind of one of those, right? Kind of just thank you, but I'm out, you know? So your angel message for today is time to go. And they are saying the sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. You see that it's time for a new beautiful soul. So my impulses guide me. Do not ignore those because whether it's that thing that you get impulse to do or guided to do, it might not be that exact thing, but that is just spirit guiding you, getting your attention, saying, Hey, this way, this way, this way. Right. And then they get you to the next thing. I used to be guided into going to different coffee shops around my local area. I love coffee shops. They're bustling. They're fun, especially in the morning. Oh my gosh. It's just the, the morning energy is the best energy. Like you ever notice that? It's like, I used to wake up and walk my dogs really early, like five in the morning. And then I go to coffee shops and it was like, everything's happening, right? You want to be part of it, right? So fun. And so I was always guided to these different coffee shops and at every different coffee shops energy, I always got this new download or this new insight, right? So every impulse is always going to guide you somewhere. And we got to get in tune with trusting ourselves, following that. And it becomes much easier when you start to connect more to yourself, beautiful soul. Forget about the rest of the world for right now, right? Forever, as a matter of fact, because you will best serve where you're meant to serve if you serve yourself first from this day forward, always and forever. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby. Beautiful soul. I hope you enjoyed this video and it brought you some value. And if you want to watch a really good video, check out these videos.